Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and the Survival Series. So I just thought I'd come up here and admire the view. It still mind boggles me how much of this has changed since we first started on this series. And the fact that it's actually No Man's Land map, which is quite a flat map and yeah, completely changed it. It is stunning. So, it is now April. Day two. And we did finish off planting all the soybeans, which is great news. So if I just have a quick look at the map, I'll give you a bit of an update. You can see that we've got the soybeans growing in all four fields. So I did actually finish off this with the lime and use the course play to plant in all the soybeans. So we've got four big fields now. Well, three small fields and one massive field, but four fields and it's a lot more arable than we've ever done before so I'm hoping it I'm, I really am hoping that this is going to be much better this time around so the only thing these fields need now is a bit of fertilizer and we also need some rolling so if we do the rolling get rid of the mulch as well you can see that these three especially and the crop one and the um, root crop one they also need some um, fertilizer so we're going to sort that out but there's a lot to do I mean pretty much we could do some logging we could do the grass silage, we could get the fertilizer done, we can do the rolling. There is a lot to get through um, and we aren't in any months yet where we should probably start selling anything. So I think we should need to crack on with this. We do need to plant in some sugar beets. We're going to add it to what we're processing just down here in this place, um, which I think is getting close to max. It's, we've already got 36,000 litres waiting to be spawned out. So that's like 30, nearly 37 of these. And then we've got to manually put them through that thing to get a 20% increase. It's a lot of work, it really is. But I do want to make a lot of money this time around. I, I kind of really want to get some more cows, rely heavily on, well, milk, hopefully, to, to bring us some cash. But I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get the roll up. What, what we're actually going to do with that is set it up as a course play on the fields. Get a bit of a helping hand. And then we're going to focus probably on starting the grass work off. And we could even do a bit of fertilizer spread if we kind of catch up and there's a field ready after it's been rolled. I do want to maximize as best I can the arable. I mentioned it before that we haven't done that well. We've relied heavily on the logging side of things. So why not try and just see how far we can push it now with having this big field of soybeans to top up pretty much everything else we're getting. We are playing on hard difficulty, so I'm not expecting anything too crazy but I'm hoping for something that makes it all this all this effort worthwhile at least it's, yeah, it's not ideal if not now I do want to admit the planter over there is absolutely fine I was being an absolute melon and I forgot to cultivate the field so yes I got the Derek cedar for no reason at all thinking there was an issue with that but it's just because I've been so used to actually direct seeding in I forgot the most one of the most basic parts of the game, which is to actually cultivate before you start planting. Crazy. Right, so we'll do a little bit of an overlap here. We don't need to do too much. We're going to bring that down to six meters. Uh, no bypass, and if we just generate the field, it's going to look a bit like a loop on the outside, to be honest, but you know, it just makes sense. We're missing bits off the edge there. Which is a bit strange how it just cuts that a little bit off. But we can always go over that. It's not massively important. Just get the majority of the field rolled is the best and most important thing. Let's just have a quick look at this as she sets off. Much better roller system that we had previously. Let's see what this looks like. There you go. So you can clearly see that where there's direct seeding and a bit of the stubble. Left off the crop there, so that is clear as day. Nicely compact seed bed. So, next task I think is going to be to start the mowing off. Now, I normally would use the John Deere, but I think the John Deere is the best now for the roller. So, we're going to probably jump in to maybe the Landini the mower. I'm trying to think what would be best. Landini's got some hefty tyres on it. I know I need to start planting. Yeah, we'll use the Massey to plant with the... Uh, We'll use the masses planting the root crops. We may as well. Ooh, 
That was close, very close. So, let's go and get this set up with the mower. Bring it out to the field. Set up course plate. It is going to be a heavy episode when it, in the use of course play. We need a helping hand. It's a perfect farm. Now, we've got quite a lot going on, so we do need helpers. Right, so there we go. We're hooked up to the mower. I'm just looking at that Mikhail Baylor. I think an update came out for that no longer, which improves the Baylor. And even though that Baylor was cheap and cheerful, and it actually looks pretty good, when it drops out the bale, remember, it kind of just gets caught a little bit. So I'm hoping that's been improved. We'd have to check. Oh, I'm sure I updated that mod. But yeah, we'll find out. But let's get some grass mode. Now, the aim for this grass is we're going to make some salads, but we've got plenty of salads over there for the cows that we have. We could do a bit more. There's nothing stopping us. But I think we should make this to sell. Store it at the edge of the field like we used to do. Make a bit of extra cash, because... But, Bales of salads are pretty decent when it comes to cash flow. You can't go wrong with uh, doing some salads to earn a bit of cash. So, we'll do a bit of that. We also probably need to do a bit of hay. We'll get plenty of straw. Loads of straw. More than we actually need. So, uh, yeah. Let's let's skip a row. Um, multiple tools, no. Number of headlands, we'll do two. Start work on the center. Reduce that overlap, pull that down to five so we try not to miss bits. Um, we're going to skip one row, oh, and then we're going to generate that one. There we go, that's fine with me. And the reason I like to skip a row, just because of the tools, a little bit beefy. It saves time on the actual course, because I've found that if he's doing too many maneuvers to turn in a tight space, it will slow the actual course down. So if you try and skip a row, as much as you're going to be going back on yourself, it actually means that you're speeding up so you probably want to check that out because now luckily with the update of uh, course play it does actually give you a time like it did in fs19 of when the course is going to be finished so if we just stick with this you can see 20 minutes and 48 seconds um, we can get rid of that we don't need that up anymore so that's good to see it's not going to take too long ah oh, we've done a massive error here we've still got the mulcher on the go so we actually lost a bit of grass there that's my bad we did use it to mulch, so we need to go quickly to the workshop and swap that over. And I am glad I've spotted that, though. I could have walked away from that and not noticed, so... Yeah, not ideal. But that's uh, what happens when you start modifying tools that you already bought, bought for a certain reason. As good as it is to have the mulcher option, we do need to make sure we remember. Well, I need to make sure I remember. But I definitely won't forget next time, put it that way. And then what we can do after this is to uh, get in the Massey and start focusing on doing that root crop. And uh, I'm sure I've got the mod that means that we don't need to actually roll anything that's like corn or a root crop. Just because the seedbed itself looks a little bit different. So it kind of doesn't make sense really. To, you don't need to roll that kind of crop. You really don't. So customize. And what we're going to do is take off the mulcher option. There we go, job done. We're ready to rock and roll. So I'll go set this back up and then I'll jump straight into the Massey and we'll get some sugar beets in the ground. Right, so this field's just done. I have finished off the bits around the edge. I think that was my fault. I put round corners on the headlands instead of smooth. Uh, but what I've done is I've set it to field one. I've set the course play up. The first waypoint, because I've clicked the course play button, it should actually now drive itself there and start. Fingers crossed. So I've hooked up to the planter. And we've filled up as well. So all good. We just need to start planting. Now, because it's plowed, I just don't need to cultivate, thankfully. So let's, uh, let's just try this out. Turn her on. It should... Start plow uh, planting in. Sh um, it looks, yeah, spot on though. This it's a little bit difficult to tell because it's pretty much the same texture, colour. You can just make it out that we are planting in some rows there. I'm lucky as well that the planter actually does the sugar beets because it's a lot bigger than the potato one we've got. So it shouldn't take us too long. A 
I'll also keep checking on the guy that's rolling. Um, but pretty much there's a lot going on at the farm. We've got three jobs going on. We've got the planting. We've got the rolling. And then obviously we've got the mowing, which we do need to send in some windrow at some point. So that's going to be interesting. Because, yeah, we need another tractor, which we haven't got. So, hmm. so he's just got to field one. Now, even though I know this works, I always get a little bit... I always, I always like the confidence that it's actually going to start from the first waypoint. So let's just check it out. And see that he's figuring it out. And so far, so good. We don't need to have that on. We can start... We can show the start and the end. It looks like it's going to be perfect. There we go. Happy days. So yeah, we can leave that going. You can see that the, the mowing is going pretty well as well. Now that we sorted that out, so we can just carry on with this. And I might even do a bit of a time lapse now, just as I get through this field. It shouldn't take me too long because you can see the size of the planter and the size of the field itself. It's uh, very small. So this is the last field that needs rolling, the biggest one of all. It's going to take about an hour for this guy to finish off rolling. If we have a quick look over here, you can see he's started off. It's not, he's not, yeah, he's not done much, but it is looking better overall. We've now got fertilizer in all these three fields, the root crop as well, and 
None of them need rolling anymore, so that's brilliant. Just one more layer of fertilizer for all these fields, and we should be spot on. We'll have to keep an eye on it for weeds. I think we're going to get weeds in this field. Yeah, these three fields, but not the root crop. We shouldn't also get it in this field. So there will be three fields to tend to when it comes to putting some herbicide down. But overall, we've done pretty well. There's a lot been going on in this episode because there's just all the jobs are now starting to happen. We've done the mowing and the guy's now rowing up and we're just plodding along doing some bales. I do think this baler though, with it being three and a half thousand litres, just way too small. It really is. We need to try and improve on that at some point. We really do. I've got a lot of money coming in when we sell the planks, but I'm still not sure what to spend that on. I feel like I should spend a lot of it on getting some cows because I think we can generate the feed we need to feed them. And then obviously with milk being such a good earner, it will benefit us. We could max out our new pen with some cows in, but it's one of them. It's still going to be a fair task. It really is. Um, but hopefully the arable as well will pay off and we can buy ourselves something pretty neat. I would actually like another tractor, even if it's just something small that plods along that can stick the tether on or windrow, just to offer me, you know, something else. Even the, the fertilizer spreader, doing that with something would be perfect. We've got a good selection now, tractors with all different, you know, horsepower, capacities, sizes. That one's got great for tires. They all have a great, they all have a really good purpose. And this Massey is obviously opened up the possibility of us getting some bigger kit but I would really like a better baler and we also need a better wrapper because the wrapper we've got right now well it gets caught when doing uh, course play the uh, wrapping bales feature which is really nifty and really handy to use and with this series I don't mind paying money and having helpers it is on hard difficulty it is survival we can't lease anything out we can't cheat we can't add money or anything like that we are well, we have already started from scratch on hard difficulty and tried to make money. Now, really, when you're doing logging, you can't pretty much make loads of money. And we've planted a hell of a lot of trees, so much so that all these here need chopping down. There's the ones that need chopping down in between the, the root crop field and the field just opposite to it. And then we've got all the, the stone pine that should be really good to chop down and sell because that will make us even more money than the spruce so we are busy 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 and we can make hopefully a shed ton of money and try and build something pretty decent i think what we've done already is pretty decent but we'll, you know we can just carry on and keep going having bigger arable fields and then we can see how much money you can truly make on hard difficulty if you're using really big equipment and uh, with the helping hand of course play as well the bigger we get the more we're going to use it as you can tell because that field in front of us is huge. Without course play, that would have been difficult. Especially for me to fit it in an episode. It would have been one massive time lapse. Whereas course play is just plodding along with it. We're obviously doing the teddy right now. And all we're focusing on is getting the bales done. He's going to hit that bale. Yeah. Speaking of bales. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It was just in the way. I can tell. So let's just shift that for him. There we go. You crack on. Happy days. So I just want to quickly mention as well that I have uh, announced recently that I'm now a partner of G-Portal. And uh, really excited about that. I um, did do some research before I know G-Portal and they are very, very decent. And uh, if you're into the multiplayer servers and playing with your friends on FS22, I really, really highly recommend checking out the link in the video description. You can get 10% off if you use it on uh, your first order and your first server um, and it is really worth doing because the website and the way they set things up is yeah really user friendly and also there's 24 hours support um, and the guys you know pretty nice as well so yeah definitely recommend checking out gportal and also if you if you do use the link it will help out my channel and uh, I get a bit of a kickback and the more people that use the link as well it gives me more chance in the future of offering even more of a discount who knows maybe some giveaways as well so yeah if you are interested in using a server definitely check out the link below really appreciate that if you could looks like we've got another bale here yeah we have 
blocking the way. Sorry about that. Shift this out of the way. So I'm pretty much just going to plod along now and do all these bales. I probably won't wrap them. I'll probably make sure I fertilise that field first as soon as he's finished the rolling. But I thought, why not just get in this field and do a bit of baling? Can't go wrong. So I think he's actually now working on the headland. So we need to finish off by doing this last up and down stretch. Uh, we've done alright so far. I mean, there's a lot of bales with it being 3,500 litres. Always is. So I have actually activated as well the Platinum Edition in this save game. So if we are doing a bit of logging, that opens up some new features. We've got spray cans and all that kind of stuff. Also the winch, something I've not used, but I've seen it on other people's channel and also, yeah, just advertised within um, the DLC itself, the, the Platinum Edition. So, yeah, maybe it's something we can look at. I haven't actually used it once, like I said, so... I mean, does it actually winch just logs? It won't. It, I hope it doesn't. That'd be great if you could use it to winch vehicles or anything. I don't know if it works like that. I think it might just be logs. Uh, but like I said, I haven't tried it out to use it. The only bit of logging I've done on FS is pretty much on this series. And this is one of the first maps that come out on FS22 when it released because it was a, a map that was a big hit by Alien Jim um, in FS19. So... Yeah, well, I've been on it for quite some time. Not as much as I like. Because finding the time um, to make as many videos as I like has been difficult. It really has. Uh, but hopefully soon I can pick up and uh, be a bit more consistent for everyone. Um, I think I, well, for a while I was doing around three or four videos a week, but I would like to do many more. You know, perfect scenarios doing it full time, obviously, and throwing out a video every day but at the moment that would be well it'd be impossible for me to to commit to everyone to do that and it'd be yeah really unfair so I am trying my best to get at least four done every week at the moment. Um, ideally that's gonna be like one on one series, one on another and then two on the farmhand because for me the farmhand I know everyone I have had a lot of feedback since I started that series and people love watching it from what I can tell but also a massive bonus and a benefit is I really enjoy making it telling a story showing the creative side of that so that'll be happening for quite some time as well so I do like to continue doing two of them around the weekend uh, but I would like to maybe open up the opportunity of doing double episodes in the week of one series mixing it to the next week it's a double episode of another series but we'll see how it gets on throughout this year. I'm hoping 2023 gives me more chance to make more content. That has been the aim from the start. Right, so I, like I said, I'm just going to plod along, get these bales probably all done, and then we'll work on fertilising that field, and obviously wrapping these up. But unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to do that in this episode. It's going to be something to do in between episodes just because it's going to take me so much time. I have already done a time lapse and I don't want to do another one but yeah as you can tell there's quite a lot to do. Probably in the next episode we'll be looking at maybe trying to get rid of some of the logs because I do know that the planks have just run out of material so they need some more logs going in so we can make planks and I think with, with the planks giving us over 100k it'd be a great idea to fill that back up maybe sell a couple more loads of logs, maybe some chop down some of these and start making the clearing again. And then, yeah, you never know, we could buy ourselves a bale just from these logs. We could buy ourselves a lot of things if we chopped all them trees down and sold. But obviously, it'd take quite a lot of time to do so. We will try and do at least four or five trees from here and then take, take at least one load up to the to sawmill to process into planks just to keep that ticking along. And then the rest we can sell see what kind of cash we get and we might be able to get a bit of an upgrade even if it's a, a better wrapper even though I do know wrappers are quite expensive it might be a good idea to save up for a decent baler but even them are quite expensive again second hand market I know I've said this before but it is really true the second hand market is a really good thing to try and keep an eye on because you know we get some bargains in there 
In fact, we can have a quick look. I'll just do the end of this row. We'll have a quick look what's in there. Uh, on offer right now. Just before I end the episodes, I think. I haven't had a quick look. And I don't know if I looked in April. I think it changes every month, so every three days the offers change. I don't think I have had a, had a look in April, so I'll have to check. Well, look how much money we spent on wage repayments. 2,000 already gone. Yeah, get in there. This bale's going to be an awkward one. There, there we go. We'll drop that out there. And I think we'll just turn it off for a bit. We are doing pretty good. We nearly done the centre of the field, and then there's obviously the two headland passes to finish off. And uh, I think he's about halfway. It's really difficult to tell. You can just tell the difference in the texture. It's more defined. You can see the line now down the middle. So that's unrolled and that's rolled. It's more compact. It's very slight, but it is it is there. But yeah, let's have a quick look. Let's go to our used vehicle sale. So we've got an animal trailer there for 14,000, which is a pretty good deal for the size that is. It holds 12 cows. Not bad. We got ourselves a conveyor belt, which is pretty decent as well, but we don't need it. Now that tractor is twenty thousand pounds and it's one hundred and thirty horsepower. That's something we could look at for only twenty thousand as well to have a, a, another tractor, which is something I said I wanted. That isn't a bad deal. We're not quite at the point yet where we need to look at a muck spreader, but forty six thousand for that size is pretty is a, is a good good option. But I don't think we're anywhere near getting that size yet. Uh, don't need any of that stuff. Um, don't need a Hilux, even though that is a bargain. Little tiny tractor there goes up to 82 horsepower. That would be perfect. That really would be perfect for some solid fur. Anything just to stick the tether on windrow. I mean, it's not a bad tractor, really. It's a little bit... It is bigger than the, the Porsche that we started with that I have still got, but it's more of a display tractor now. It is something we could look at. Um, even get an electric one for 30. I don't think we're at the quiet this at that the right point. I'll tell you what though, that Volvo, we just nearly got ran over by the tractor, but that Volvo, the login, that is not bad at all, you know. I actually really like the idea of that. Yeah, for 33,000, we could sell some logs and get that. I'm actually sold on that idea. Why don't we sell some logs, fill up the sawmill, to get to the planks processing again but then when we chop down the trees we could invest in something like this so we don't have to keep hauling on the trailer using a tractor taking that up we could actually just use this volvo and yes yeah, stack up from this and take it up like that i do like the idea of that i don't know how it handles i've never used it but it's part of the dlc and the platinum expansion so that is an option especially if it's thirty-three thousand. i do like that so we'll definitely come back to that and revisit it because that looked like a a cracking idea. If we get 50,000, we can even buy a tractor and then we are making progress. But there is, like I said, lots to do. going to be a good time. We are going to make a lot of money this time around. I'm positive on it. We've already made 100,000 by obviously selling the planks. If I could actually just quickly show you the... Uh, the production chain, you can see that that's still ticking along. We've got plenty of everything. Uh, I had to turn the lime off because we maxed out, so all the stones processed. I finished off probably another eight, nine bags just to finish that field off. And then you can see that I'm um, uh, at 44,000, just under 45,000 of lime. So we've got plenty of lime for the future as well. But if we do have a look at the planks, you can see we're all... We have ran out of wood, so we need to get that going again because if we have a look at the time saving stock check menu, which is excellent by the way, and I've said this multiple times, it really does help you out on a series like this. You can see our sugar beets at the moment, we've got 44,000 in stock. If it shows you locations, you can see that most of that is stuck inside the garden. We've only got 8,000 in pallets. But if we sell that at the right time, that's 15,000. So not too much. Eggs are already at six and a half. Wool's doing well at 7,800. Milk is pretty irrelevant because we're selling it every day automatically. Um, where is, yeah, silage again is irrelevant because we're using all that. Hey, it's the same, but planks, 107,000. We can take that up. We could we could process more definitely before July. We're in April, so we've got May, June, pretty much May and June. Um, and it might be the best time to sell it at the end of July. You never know. 
instead of the start. So we might get up to 120, maybe. Who knows? But that's good cash. Definitely good cash. And that's pretty much all we're going to be selling at the moment until we get soybeans. Then we're going to see what really happens because soybeans is a, a decent price. And if we have a look at the fluctuation chart, it's June. So when we harvest it, which is around autumn time, so October, probably between the end of September, October, November, we're going to have to wait, hold on to it to around June, it looks like, and then sell that then. But well, at least we'll have a lot of straw. And uh, I'm hoping straw, price for that is not too bad. There's lots of extras now. Meat, burgers. Yeah, if we just have a quick look at straw. Where are you? So that's December. So by the time we've done the harvest here, we'll, we'll be able to sell you know, at least half the straw because we're going to get a lot of straw, more than we're going to need, definitely more than we're going to need. Uh, but I think we should focus the, the planks on maxing our cows now. So then going into the next year, we've hit a target and, yeah, we're making a shed ton of milk because that's going to bring in even more cash. And then we can keep expanding on arable and buying bigger equipment for it. Same with grass, because we're going to need more feed with more cows. And we're doing all right at the moment, but yeah, we'll definitely need even more. Right, so on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it every time. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up, because that really does help my channel out. And if you're new, and this is the first time you've watched me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.